Hey everybody, this is Spurverts part one. I'm Emma Story, joined by the lovely Craig Mitch. Oh ho ho, but oh, before ho, you ho. start though. Before we start, we have some big news here. Press my star. <laughs> nay nay. Oh. Happy Christmas! Woo. Very exciting, Spurs in the top four for Christmas. Oh yes we yeah. are. And that's because we beat Southampton. She nil at St Mary's. A oh, ho! Oh ho, oh ho. A lot, a lot of people are saying I overreacted over the Newcastle result. A little bit. I stand by that, okay? I do, because you just don't lose in the 93rd minute. But the opportunity to go top four. Luckily, Manchester United messed up against Norwich. Oh, yes. Who we have next. But the boys did their job. I mean, we, we rid that kind of 25 minutes of bad play at the beginning. We were so bad in the first 25 minutes. Was? Everyone was asleep. I was literally like, this is going to go really, really badly. Then thank God, the man, Harry Kane. Two goals in quick succession. Harry from Kane. nowhere. From, absolutely from nowhere. So much so that I actually missed the second goal because oh, I, was, I, was, I was already down in the concourse, maybe trying to get a beer at half time. Oh, no. You didn't have to admit that. In fairness, about 5,000 other people were also doing the same thing. So it wasn't just me. Uh, Oh, so you missed Dali Ali goal. Missed Dali Ali goal, but don't worry. Have they got screens it. over there, St Mary's for they, replays? Uh, no. Yeah, they're not great. Up your technology. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong? You've been in the Premiership for a little while now. Where's the money? Spend it. No, I Flip think. Now. I think the good news was was that after South, uh, after Southampton, after we scored the two goals, we yeah. never really looked like we were relinquishing that lead. Second half, we looked comfortable as anything. That is nice the thing that's chilled, got me most excited. Which was brilliant. We dealt with the pressure. We we saw out the game. Usually, it's very nervy, but we looked so comfortable. So chilled. But to be fair, Southampton were just very uninspiring. They just couldn't really come up with anything. They. Usually when they made a couple changes and it just completely just didn't change the game. It's difficult to understand with them as well because they did so well last season under Koeman. You kind of go, I don't really know what's going wrong there at the moment. Out of world, that's what went wrong. Ha! Ha ha ha! How we much, stole out of world. How much did we pay for him? Like eight mil. Oh my, steal. Atletico, thank you very much. Cheers. Southampton, boo hoo. Get over it. Anyway. Anyway, now, talking about amazing performances at Southampton. Moussa Dembele. Yeah. Everyone was singing his name when we left because he was his brilliant, brilliant self. We've been so excited been about good. how well he's playing since he's been in the hole. Yeah. But you're not happy, are you? Because you think someone else should be playing in the hole. So are you whoa, trying to suggest whoa, whoa, that Emma. we drop Dembele? No, no, that is not what I'm suggesting. I just merely put out there that a lot of people have been criticising Ericsson's performances. And I just wanted to point out to some of these people that he's being played out of position wide to accommodate Dembele. So it's kind of a debate, should Dembele be playing in the hole or should Ericsson be playing in the hole? Now we know Dembele can't play wide, he would have to either play deeper, but then that means Deli Ali gets dropped. So it's, it's a bit of a conundrum, because I want to see the best out of Ericsson, but we're not going to see that wide. It's just a bit of a... Well, would you not want Ericsson to adapt to being out wide? You he, can't drop Dembele. Come on, guys, you are all with me. Well, you cannot he, drop Dembele. He's, do, he's, not, he's not appalling wide, he's doing a job, but I think if we want to see the best Ericsson, which we've seen that previous season, last season, season before, he has to play in the hole. That's where he'll get goals, that's where he'll create things. Playing wide, trying to drift in. I can't, I just don't think he's great there, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, we'll see how it goes. We also can't leave this week without mentioning the massive news. We're finally getting a new stadium. It's official. Haringa yes. Council signed off the approval after possibly the longest meeting in the world ever. Mm. Six hours this meeting took. Did it? Six, oh, believe me, I had to watch the entire thing. It was probably it was Levy long. trying to knock money down and trying to change yeah. things. Oh, and no doubt about it. But the point is, Haringa Council have said yes, it is through, it is happening. Yep. Next season will be our last season at White Hot Lane. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's good though, because we're only moving next door. Does that not help? Not even a little it bit? Helps, um, it helps, it helps. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's been a lot of memories at the synagogue. There well, are. We're, we're we upgrading know, it. We know next year is going to be emotional, so uh, yeah. The highest single tier stand. In Europe. Oh, wait. Gonna, in gonna, Europe! We're going to be right there in the middle of it. Anyway, really hope you've enjoyed Spurbert's part one. Join us for Spurbert's part two shortly when yes. we'll be talking all sorts of Instagram and Twitter and Facebook Social posts. media stuff. Yes. Um, so uh, drop us a like if you like the video. Leave us a comment by all means. Tell us if you agree about Dembele Ericsson, who should be starting, who should be dropped. And uh, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. How is it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurbert's part two. Shall I press it again? No, 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 no we've, had, we've had it. It takes way too again. long now. Nah, we're no. rinsing it.